Oh, I already started recording. Um, well, folks, welcome into another episode of the Believe in FCS Football Podcast, part of the Believe Podcast Network. What implications do you need to pull up? Playoff implications, seating I- implications. Okay, well, pull it up. Stuff okay. like that. Pull it up later. Also, no countdown today. No, I'm. I, I as I've indicated, I am a, in a state where uh, I'm just kind of doing things. I'm not really thinking. We've had this conversation. If you all sat in to the pre-show meeting and Doc fill in, <laughs> you would stop listening to the show because you would understand. No, it's not like you would understand anything. You would you would be more confused as to how we're able to do thirty minutes of radio, uh, of a podcast rather, given our inability to focus and properly communicate. We've never we've never done either of those things correctly. Um, yet we still put out a good product. Although somebody called us lame the other day and that made me upset. Yeah, what was that about? I don't know. It just said poor production, kind of lame or something like that. No, that's on you, bro. So somebody who who doesn't even follow me went and commented on the the post of the show. Like what? Was it, what did we... Colin make a burner account? Uh, maybe he no some Sam Houston guy. What what, was one of the what does that mean? Or... What were we supposed to keep on talking about, Sam Houston? I, I don't. You're the number one seed. How much? Can they're we talk probably about complaining that? about your lighting. I have no idea. Nor do I care. But it is what it is. Uh, by the way, before so today we're going to talk about Montana State, Montana uh, sure. game that sh- should have been where college game they went to, but they chose Ohio State for the a millionth time. Uh, we're going to talk about that. We're going to do FC estimates as always. Uh, Sean, before I forget, I want to I, I want to tell you. So guess who? Who uh, who Ryan's having on as a uh, as a guest for the Draft Prospect Show very soon? Oh, it take can't a guess. Be. Take a guess. If it is, I'm gonna be infuriated. Given what who, I've heard, who, who, who it's gotta be it Cole is? Kelly, right? No. Oh, oh wait, Cole Kelly already came on the show. Oh yeah. Oh, did did Ryan say he's a tight end right in front of him? <laughs> no, he did not. Oh, I, interesting. I asked him if he did. Hmm. I asked him if he did, and he said no. What? So take a show. guess. Take a guess. Who who do you think it would be? If it's Bailey Zappi, I'm going to lose my mind. It's Bailey Zappi. Of course it is. <laughs> it's the Senior Bowl invite. Ryan lines him up. He's going to be interviewing him soon. I, t- I, I told him I had to tell you. I was talking to him earlier today when we recorded the other show. You know what? I, I want to be I want to be hey, eh, on on Ryan, but I can't because he's want to be what? exposure to uh, <laughs> hating because uh, oh. I want to give exposure to Bailey Zappi. He deserves it. So. I mean, he threw for 20,000 yards in three seasons at Houston Baptist. So good for him. I hope he gets drafted and he should be. Yeah, Ryan doesn't. You know what he is? He's Taylor Heineke with a stronger arm. That's that's who Bailey's at. Yeah, I think that's I think that's a fair comp. That's actually a pretty good comp. I'm going to run that. I'm going to pitch that to Ryan, who, oh, who go is ahead. very critical. Are you pass, pass it off. As no, I'm going to say Sean. I'm going to say Sean said it. Well, I've actually, never heard once. What am I saying that I'm going to pitch to him? Ryan's going to listen this tomorrow morning. It doesn't even doesn't even matter. Oh, um, Sean forced to comp. I just came up with it at the top of my head. He's probably going to say that on easy. Twitter. He's going to say that on Twitter. Hey, can can you stop sending him the picture? I sent it to him once. He wants the video now too. By the way. Oh boy. I'll get. Like I said, you if you inquire to me about the picture or now the video, I'll send it on over. I don't. The video is too much. That, everybody that is too much. All right. The picture at least has been inquired about every time. I I, I feel. How like many I people have asked you for it? But I'm not going to go. How many hey, people have asked you for it? Hey, pocket watcher. Don't worry about it. It's not a uh, pocket watch. How many people? You have are asked pocket watching. You are not, pocket that's watching. That's not. That is not a pocket watch. Oh yes, it is. Because it's now just being unearthed that like people keep sending it to me, which I don't like that bit either. I really don't like the bit because the first thing I said to you, Sean, when you sent me the picture, is said I don't like that, and I deleted yeah. it. From our chat, I removed it so I didn't have to look at it again. And it keeps being sent to me, and it's bugging the crap out of me. Well, that makes me happy because, I mean, it's great. It's a fantastic photo of a tight pants wearing lad excited about his beers. That's what the photo is. I, I can, I can, I don't care. I can pull off the tight pants now. Well, I used to be able to 20 pounds ago, but I kind of. What do you gain 20 pounds? Uh, no, fifteen, fifteen. Because so I was, I was two twenty. Was that the girlfriend dinner I, and all that stuff. Yeah, that was yeah, probably yeah. that was probably part of it. I, no, well, it was because I was stupidly still trying to do the football stuff, and then I finally I'm just at the point where I'm like I'm done with this crap. I'm I don't want to be two hundred and twenty pounds, but I went from two twenty down to one eighty, and then back up to one ninety five. That's mm. the process of what happened. Out of way. Yeah. How do we get here? 
from oh, I, I, I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. We're not even going to talk FCS today. You want to just talk about our personal lives Dude, and tell I everyone saw, to screw? I saw, I saw a review. <laughs> well, I, I, I never do this, but I was just checking and I, I, I looked into our Apple podcast reviews. Oh, and no. it was like, first time I listened, the reviews, I'm paraphrasing, was, you know, first time listener. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Uh, that, you know, it was all positive. And in a 40 minute show, they only talked about the game that they went to for about 10 minutes. So I'm like, oh. <laughs> so like, oh, it's funny, great chemistry, all that, but <laughs> they were not super high on our actual FCS talk. <laughs> Wait, let me. Are you searching for it now? Yeah, I need Here to see go. this. Hold on one second. All right. Hold on one second. He's lucky. Oh, our, our ratings went up. We we're yep. up to a 4.9. Um, People have been great. Listen to the podcast for the first time on my way to the border battle in Brookings. These two are fun to listen to, and they bring a bit of smack talk and humor to the table. On a 30-minute episode about the game, I think about 10 minutes of it was actually talked about. The rest was banter <laughs> about their size and the size of their friends and other squirrel topics, but it was definitely entertaining. Well, I think that's what everybody knows at this point. Is we This is not a football podcast at this point. It's no. A, it's our lives, and then we, we kind of just randomly throw in foot. See, Chad had a really good point that he made when we were at the football game. Yeah. He said that he thinks Don't that throw the, up in the trash can. Was that his uh, advice? Uh, no, it will, no, but he said uh, he said that he thinks it's a bit that we talk about football, and it's not actually part of the show, and it's just something that we do. It's circumstance. Us doing this show is circumstance that we happen to play at this division <laughs> at this level. <laughs> it's, that's, it's purely circumstantial. Yeah. Um, what the hell are we talking about? Oh, Montana, Montana State. Can you uh, bet online uh, where the game starts? Hey, that's a great transition. <laughs> hey, I, I love that that lead in <laughs> for the ad read. Next next show, I'll just do it myself because that are, seems to be. Are you betting on Falcons Patriots tonight? Yeah, I am. Okay. Patriots to cover. I'm. I. You know what, everybody? What you should do? Head to bet online. Tease up New England to cover by forty, and then when you get the odds at like plus four thousand. Take that because they're going to cover six. They're going to cover six and a half. <coughs> they're going to cover seven. Thanks for interrupting, Joe. Uh, they're going to cover against Atlanta tonight. They just are. This is my advice. Atlanta is not a good team. Atlanta is a bad team. I don't like that. I, I, I'm starting to dislike the Falcons because they disappoint me and dis- dis- disappoint me. Go Patriots tonight. They, they're going to they're going to smash this spread. Head to the new updated desktop or mobile website to sign up today and receive your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. So tonight, when you're betting on the Patriots, just use our promo code BLEAV50 to receive your uh, to receive your bonus from basketball, football, baseball, not baseball anymore. Need the updated read sometime, though. Thanks, nice. Alex. NHL, boxing, UFC, right to your favorite Vegas casino games. Actually, go ahead. Set an MLB future for World Series champion 2022 for the Detroit Tigers. How will you do that? Uh, and then uh, when next year, when we're all talking and happy uh, because Carlos Correa is going to sign there and they, they, you know, they just signed um, Eduardo Rodriguez and they're starting to get a little bit of a staff. Casey might is going to get a little more work this offseason. Doesn't matter. Head to bet online. Uh, put that down. Uh, it is the fastest and easiest way to bet all your favorite sports. Bet online where the game starts. Now, Joe, I'm glad you're awake now because I was talking about other sports. So can we get to football? Yes, uh, I am awake sports. So today we're talking about Montana, Montana State and this game, I'm still pretty pissed that this didn't end up being the college game day game. Um, this was actually also one of the games that was floated out there for our trip. Yeah, uh, again, I remember Montana was actually making a heavy push, and everyone was saying go to the Montana Montana State game. The, we, I think we need to go there next year, and we'll let fans decide, and hopefully the Montana fans show up because that stadium looks insane. The the one oh, that's gorgeous. Tucked in the mountains. Oh my god! Yeah. I, I want to go there, guys. Please, please help us out here. I would love to go to Montana next year. But nonetheless, Sean, this um, this matchup between Montana, Montana State, probably one of the the most highly, more highly anticipated games uh, in this matchup. It's always a competitive game. It's always a a bitter rivalry. So it's always going to be talked up. But you've got a, a nine and two and a, a ten and one team facing off here. Now, if I remember from last episode, Sean. Montana State wins the Big Sky if they win this football game. So what Montana essentially gets out of this is that they could come in here swinging and completely screw up things for their rival uh, if if they're able to pull off this upset. I don't believe Montana has any possibility to win the division if they win this game. Um, and I'm blanking off the top of my head who, who Montana State's competing with it, and I'll check in a second. Sac but this, State. Sac State, that's what I thought. And Eastern um, Washington. Well, 
Actually, no, just next. Day, I don't think they're both seven and zero in conference. Right. I don't. Yeah. I don't think Eastern Washington uh, can. Hey, thanks. Okay. Um, Montana State, though. Actually, I also believe it comes down to a tiebreaker too. So if both teams technically win, they have to then figure out the tiebreaker. I don't know what the tiebreaker is. Sean, this game though is super odd to figure out because like we're, we we've had these other matchups where it's been you know, like really prolific offense, really stout defense. But what we have here instead is two insanely good defenses and two decent quality offenses. One is better than the other in Montana States, but these defenses have been problems for the teams that they faced. And this probably could very well be like a a 17 to 14 game. It seems like a cold out West big sky, literally football game late in the or can we call it late november i'd say late november why, why uh, wouldn't it be 20th. late november <laughs> God, you need to get a ring light it's I'm sorry. gonna be it's bugging the shit out of me <laughs> it's gonna be a gritty ass game is basically what i'm gonna say and both defenses fly around and they hit hard both de- hit hard so receivers i don't know put on your elbow pads Running backs put that little tape on the back of your arms and down to your forearms, whatever that bit is. What was that turf tape? Is that what they call it? You know what I'm talking about. Uh, I, I think it's turf tape. Yeah, put that on because you're not going to be upright a bunch of this game. It's going to be you're taking hard shots, and it's in the cold, too. Oh, my God. Oh can, my God. can you imagine taking a hit from a Montana State linebacker <sighs> as a running back on November 20th in Montana? Well, be- better yet. You're the you're one of the the blockers on on kick return. Could oh you boy. imagine your your head would be would be shaking until the end of the game? I had a practice once where we opened up an inside run, and I think it was 28 degrees outside. And Q Von Jones ear holed me, and I felt every tooth on my bottom row shift oh over a little God. bit. And I couldn't believe how crazy that felt because it initially it made me immediately feel everything in my body everything and i'm like mm. it, i am I, I i went from oh that turned me really hot to i am freezing cold in an instant so when you're talking <laughs> about this we go into weather it's gonna be a uh a, not a factor because they play out here they they understand right. it but you're gonna uh, have a lot of no sleeve guys in this game oh dude which is, there, it's uh, going, so many hardos out there and good yeah. for them you know what why not set the tone like that <laughs> <laughs> hardos is just such a Strange way to describe them, but it's very <laughs> accurate. Um, Sean, here's the one thing that stands out to me, and it's it, it's pretty obvious w- what the determining factor in this one is going to be. Sure. Montana State has the, the clear advantage in terms of running the football. Montana, as we know, has not been consistent at all in scoring output. I, I don't see really any good any big big matchups they've had against tougher opponents they've struggled a little bit and the one that concerns me the most is that southern utah game where they barely won by one point and i I think in a game like this where they don't necessarily put out a lot of rushing production um they have a good run game 139 yards per game but what is going to be very difficult to overcome is going up against this montana state rushing attack that is averaging close to 200, but I just had it, 230 rush yards per game. They're averaging more rush yards than they are passing yards in this game. And yeah, we've Fonzie's talked about great this year. Yeah, we've been, we, we talk about how fantastic Isaiah Fonzie is. And then you've got other guys that are talented and get touches as well. But Isaiah Fonzie is going to be very, very difficult for this Montana defense to stop, even though they're a strong defense. But I see this being a what does Isaiah Fonzie do? Does he put the team on his back? And if he does, Montana State's going to win this game. It's going to be, Joe, I just looked this up here. How many, what what do you think the total tackle amount is for the lead tackler on each team? I'll give you the names. Robbie Hawk for Montana and for Montana State, Troy Anderson. Mm. Just take a guess for each of them. I'm not guessing. Go, just tell me. It's 101 total tackles each. Holy crap. So they're averaging at about 10 tackles a game. Those are the two playmakers. And uh, Hawk is going to have a... Um, Hawk versus Ifanzi. Dude, meet me in the hole. That is <laughs> so exciting. Because Ifanzi's not a guy that only has to run up the inside. Go and get him a little outside zone. Love to see him on a pitch also. It, but they, he runs hard as hell. 
and then Hawk hits hard as hell and tons of tackles and these defenses, uh, their ratios, both of them, both teams, it's too even. It's too even. But you're talking about the Montana State rushing game. That's going to be the edge because uh, Montana State uh, ratio, like 30 points a game, giving up 11, I think. And uh, Montana State, 28 points a game, giving up 13. That's too parallel. That's too parallel. And now <laughs> it's really going to come down. I think Ifanzi is really the key. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I, I just don't think either of these teams really do enough for me in their passing game. To, to even really indicate that, like, you know, is, is going to be a um, a factor in it. I, I I really don't see a reason why Montana State doesn't. I'm not saying run away with it because it's not. It's going to be a really close battle. But I, Montana State, for me, has to have the edge because of the consistent production that they've gotten from Isaiah Fonzi and the way that they've been able to move the ball on the ground in this current stretch of success that they've had. And I mean, in general, though, the, the one thing that just scares the crap out of me for any team um, is seeing the fact that they're only allowing 11 points per game. Like that's, they it's have the better defense. Week 11 or it's yeah. going into week 12. Who does that? This is, this is red, red blanket or whatever they called it uh, for, for was it Fordham that, that one year when they were averaging like 12 a game, Colgate 12 a game. That is 11 is outstanding to do that. And then you see, because you know, it's uh, what's the old narrative, right? You just need to score once a quarter, once a quarter. That's a field goal. That's a uh, a touchdown. Field goal, touchdown, mm -hmm. whatever. That's twenty points. You do that once a quarter, you're gonna win. Especially if your defense is only giving up thirteen or eleven. Right. It, it, it makes it so much easier to have a defense like that that can just capitalize and take over a game and, and prevent the other team from doing anything. Right. No, this is going to be a really fun game, and I'm going to try and do whatever I can to watch this one. Because what are you, what are you chuckling at? I'm, I guess I'm, I did a poor job of leading you there. No, 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 no. <laughs> I have to say, I'm like this close to absolutely losing my shit because I'm, I'm part of my life. I'm fucking tired of people fucking hitting me up when I try to record. I got, I'm getting emails, I mean, text messages. Cam Rogers, stop fucking messaging me on Slack. Holy crap, I can't think. Yeah, Ugh. I got a call and a text during the show also. God, I know I, we don't set our hours like don't call me during this time, but at the same time, it's like every time that we start recording, it seems like that's the only time people want to talk to us. It's the only I, time we got I, so much other time I, in the day. See, that's exactly my point is that there's so many different chunks. We're all literally be sitting and I'm like, I don't have anything to do right now. And I'm like, what should I get done? And then everybody, the minute the mic hit just hits record. Text, call, text, call, email, Slack message. It's like, shut up. Just pick the time that's not when I'm busy. I ah, and they don't even know that's the thing. Like they don't know, but you just got to be like, it, it take. It, you look at, you, you start getting blown up. It takes you out of the show, also. Right, it ruins the show because you're just like, I don't want it. I was having a good show, and my train of thought was focused. And you can never turn off the goddamn notifications. I, I, uh, no, I, I completely sympathize with you. Uh, and I still have more work to do after this. Um, all right, Sean, let's get to FC estimates before I absolutely blow a gasket. Um, I'd love to. You'd love oh, for me to I blow a gasket? I would love to. Okay. Let's get right. to this segment right here. Let me get up close and personal. Okay, so last, last week I went 5 for 10. Sean went 7 oh. for 10. Oh. Um, the current standings sit 76 for 112, 75 for 112. I have 68 percent oh, correct. Sean is 67 percent correct. What happened to you'll never catch up to me? This I'm, I'm too good. I if went three for ten last week. That's what happened, Sean. You know what? I understand percentages and you don't because I understand than, percentages. Eat shit. You had like a nine for ten week, and then you thought that that was just going to catapult you all the way to the finish line. Oh, what happened, Joe? What happened? Oh, it's all knotted up right now. It's all knotted up, and you got to sit here and look at me and listen to me talk to you about. It's coming down to this week. And you know what? I did it strategically. I got two games I'm fading you on. Two games that I'm putting my entire pride on the, pride on the line here. Two okay. games. Okay. Well, And then I'm going to take the lead. I'm going to beat you, and you're going to have to sit there just looking at this face telling you you lost and you lost to me in the spring and you're gonna lose to me now first, and first of all so confident first of all, oh i'm so good man oh you'll never catch up to me look at this the percentage differential i'm like that's not how it works joe by the way the same thing happened our first year when you were like 40 percent at one point and i still i still ended up winning um 
Not th- not this close of a comeback though. Look, I'm still gonna win, and if You're I not. somehow if I somehow lose, we're not recording the show next week. Oh. Uh, it's as simple as that. All right, let's go through these. Um, Monmouth Kennesaw completely forgot to text Nick Masseroni back. This is my response to you, Nick. Cool. Uh, Kennesaw Monmouth. Who are you picking? Uh, Kennesaw. Uh, I'm picking Kennesaw also. Mercer ETSU. ETSU. Uh, give me Etsu as well. Montana State. Montana. Montana State. What do you? We picked all of this. Oh my God! No, we didn't. Montana State as well. North Dakota, South Dakota State. South Dakota State. Give me the Jackrabbits in that one. Uh, Sac State, UC Davis. This is one of them, Joe. I UC Davis. No. Taking a win. <clears throat> I'm gonna pick Sac State here. Um, they're riding the momentum. They have a playoff berth to get. Uh, they're uh, off the field issues with uh, with uh, with Pike the dog apparently too much for UC Davis to handle. Pike. So, what the hell, Pint, Pint, whatever, Pint, such a stupid name for a dog that's uh, supposed to be football related. Right. How about Hike? Name him Hike, not Pike yeah. or Pint. Pike. What? What are you? Are you joining a frat? What are you doing? <laughs> are you? Are you pledging right now? What's the situation? I don't know. I don't know. What, what... Sigma Chi, stupid name for a dog. <laughs> Gamma. It's... I'd it's something a frat would do that. is name the dog after the fraternity because they're uncreative. Um, where were we? I picked you Sac State. This. URI, Elon. URI. Okay, good thing you picked URI and not been a total jackass and picked against them. And then when they end up losing this weekend, which is... You're using some real spicy language on this show, and I want it to be known that I'm not. Okay. You acknowledge that every you say that every time I curse. Today, it's especially Deal spicy. It. Deal with it. Well, I'm frustrated, very frustrated and hungry. Selah Nichols. Uh, give me Selah. Uh, I'm going to take Salah as well. Idaho, Idaho State. Idaho. You faded me on the, the lamest ones. Idaho, give me some potatoes for the Vandals. That you stink. Iwu, Portland State. Iwu. Um, Stick with it. Go ahead. Um, Do it. Do it. Because if you I've don't, I've been, I've, been sh- I've been picking one team as my underdog team every single week this year. Go ahead, have your confidence, and you can bet your ass. Oh, I'm. Wow. Pi- this is for the rights to say that I won FC estimates. This will be the determining game because we're gonna tie on all of the other ones, but I'm gonna win here on this one. Give me Portland State. Give me the boys. I am. If they win me FC estimates. I will go to a game next year. I, oh I said it. I will go to a, na- a game next year. I said if they won out, but that didn't happen. If they win me FC estimates in this circumstance, I promise the listeners, the Portland State fan base, I will go to a game. Dude. <laughs> I, Greek God X, will represent all men. <laughs> That's what you just did. Shut the hell up. <laughs> I represent all men. <laughs> um, yeah, hey, good luck with that. I, okay. Dude, I really thought, you know, you got me. <laughs> I, I really thought that you were going to switch it up because you were too prideful. No, good for you. Someone's vacuuming. I recorded my other show, and midway through, somebody was vacuuming. And here we are again. Someone's vacuuming. You know, let's let's just... People are recording. They don't need quiet. You know, that's not something that people need when they're recording things with a microphone. Last game, UT Martin, uh, Simo. I'll take UT Martin. <laughs> I want a UT Martin as well. Oh, God. All right, that's it from us. Um, we don't need to do any more of this. Sean, you got anything else? Uh, no, with, not with a, um, what is it, with a whimper? That's how we're going out here. When do we not? Um, all right. <laughs> you go we're, praying for, your- we're praying for you. Drive safe. Oh, enjoy uh, brackets, making them. Yeah, brackets, sports. We stink, and this thing. Subscribe.